immediately anointed on these people. And I mean, it happens to, to top picks all the time, right? Yeah. It happens to number one picks and number two picks. And we have one in in New York, in Jersey, right? Yeah. Number two pick that has gone through some some tough times in three years, and people want to bury him in year one, and they want to bury him in year two, and they want to bury him in year three. Right. And the burying part, you know, there, there's some objective things number wise you can look at. Although I think there's subjective lenses with which we look at those and we and uh, we miss out that there are some object, objective things that you either have or don't have at your disposal that can affect the way you play. But I do have a problem when there's character assassinations because you're making generalizations about people and who they are uh, without actually really knowing them. And if somebody in the locker room came out and said something about them and was willing to stand behind it, that's a different story. But if yeah, you're Zach's be, a good boy. He is a good boy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and he's dealt with a lot of shit that, that would crumble a lot of people. And I'm proud of him, and I'm looking forward to letting him speak. Uh, that's why I'm not trying to speak for him today. I know how I would feel. You're going to bat for him, though, which is a big deal, but, I think, by the but way. I mean, but I heard you're not supposed to do that. You're pretty much But I'm excited yeah. about listening to, have, to hear what he has to say uh, this week and rallying the guys and finishing the season out. Uh, on a strong note, and then who knows what's going to happen for his career, but uh, but doing it the right way. Piggybacking off of that, like, do you, is there a time frame or a number of starts or a number of seasons starting where if a quarterback hasn't figured it out by then, then we can say these guys suck. Or because yeah, like, that's a cool thing. There, like, I agree with you. Like one season is not enough. I don't, like obviously the first season started. Probably two isn't enough either. But you obviously know much much more. I, is think there you, I think you're going to see flashes in, in the first year, okay. for sure. And then with any quarterback, after you play 16 games, I mean 16 when I, when I first mm-hmm. got in, now you have a, a year of film that everybody can watch. So you can see, like, how can we attack this person? What did teams do? Did they pressure him? Did they play coverage? Was it a lot of two-eye coverage, a lot of one-eye coverage? What was the makeup of the team? Did they have a strong line? Are you worried about the run game? Did they have a number one back? Was he a Pro Bowl back? Where are the weapons at? They get to sort all that stuff out. And you have three teams in your division that play twice a year that really dive into those division games. So the second year is always, I think, uh, uh, you start to see like sophomore okay. slump is what they say. Which happens because why? You know, you have Correct. you had no film on you. You yep. have film from college. Oh. But you're on a different scheme possibly, and oh. maybe you're in a shotgun the entire time. Mm-hmm. Now you come to a team that's more 21 personnel. You're going to be under center. You're going to be action stuff, you know. And then for a player, think about and I always say this: the rookie year is so freaking difficult because you literally go from a season. And so I mean, long. kids don't play in bowl games anymore, but now you're training, right, for yep. a couple months for the combine. Then you go from the combine back to training. Then, you know, then you get drafted. Then you go to your team. Then you're all, they're all off season. Then you, you know, have a tiny little break. And then you go right into training camp. And now you're playing more games you ever have in your career. And now it's the first off season where you go, oh, take a breath. Okay, now what I got to work on? There's so much development that happens between years one and years two and two and three in this league. It's a what have you done for me lately? It's a, I have zero patience and zero attention span. So everything oh. needs to be made. Uh, we got to be boat. In a quick <laughs> <laughs> There's a boat behind yeah, you, right through that window right hey, there. Did you feel more pressure on you to be good early, to being that you had I a did. chance to sit I was behind Brett for yeah. a couple of years? You know, now it was your yeah. very similar love. 25 mm-hmm. years old, he saw you win a couple of MVPs, mm-hmm. saw you do it behind the scenes. So do you think, obviously, you dealt with it personally, but is that a thing with you guys? Yeah, as usual, DB, that's a great point. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> I do. When you play, when you know, when you've been in the league for, John like Rose. I was, three years, yep. three years for J-Lo, um, I felt it, I'm sure he did too, the, the grace period for it is much shorter. Yep. Like, you better show in year one, it's year four. Mm-hmm. So, if you look at Jordan's career though, years one to two, there was a big jump in development. Years two and three, you know, yeah. you see him in the preseason, you're right. like, oh, you know, he's playing well. And he played, I think, one game in, uh, in two in the uh, second game. year. Right, yep. and then with a toe, you're and the then toe. played oh, yeah, toe in the third man. year. Yeah, he played against Philly. Hey, real quick, what, let's go back. Why did he have, Why did he play that with that toe? Why did Jordan? What happened? That you want to go back one. over there? I had, I had COVID. I had COVID then. COVID, uh, <laughs> COVID toe, I thought. COVID yeah. toe, yeah. Remember? Toe, COVID. Toe, yeah. No. Do you want to go? Was... Do we have to go over? I'll... But, yeah, go back. We will go back. Go back. <laughs> if you want. Remember to. you showed the toe to your camera. Remember that was your your shot. It was your actual Twitter profile photo. Well, they changed mine. I used to be three, now I'm two, I think. <laughs> 